In this video, we'll talk about how you can use permission profiles to manage what your workers are able to do in the mobile app. To see permission profiles, we'll head to the worker page where we can see each of our workers and what permission they currently have assigned in the permission column. In this case, we only have one permission profile active in our account, the default permission. To take a closer look at this permission profile and create more, we'll select Setup from the menu bar and then Permission Profiles. Here we have a list of all the permission profiles in our account. You'll notice that there are two types of permission profiles, App and Chat. In this video, we're going to go over App permissions. For Chat permissions, check out the Chat tutorial in our Help Center. To take a closer look at any of these permissions, we can select the name of the profile and it will show us which permissions have been selected. Now, no matter what app permission a worker has, if they have app access, they will be able to fill out forms, read resources, and sign any documents available to them. These permission profiles manage the rest of the actions that can be accomplished in the application. We can see that the default permission only allows the ability to add your own certifications, edit existing certifications in your profile, and upload your own profile photo, but nothing else. This is a great way to set up the basic users who only need to sign documents and have no other responsibilities outside of that. However, for yourself and your managers, you might want a bit more permission. So let's create a new profile. We'll select New Permission Profile and give this profile a name. Let's go with Managers for now. This can always be changed later. Since this is a permission profile for your leaders, let's give them every available permission. The first two are arguably the most pivotal, as they're the two that deal with creating worker and location profiles. These profiles cannot be fully deleted, so we want to make sure that the right people have these permissions to avoid accidental duplication or other potential messes. Next are the permissions allowed with the default profile. The ability to add your own certifications, edit existing certifications in your profile, and upload your own profile photo. Next, we have a section for the permissions that affect other workers. First, we have the ability to collect signatures from other workers. If this permission is not selected, the workers with this permission will only be able to sign as themselves and will not be able to select Save and Add Another, which allows for several workers to sign the same document on the same device, like passing around a tablet for everybody to sign the toolbox talk they attended. The permission that allows users to view other workers assigned to their location also enables you to select the remaining permissions. These permissions include the ability to assign or unassign workers from your current location, the ability to view and edit other worker certifications, permission to view other workers' emergency contacts and personal information, and finally the ability to add a profile photo for other workers. Now that my permission profile is created, I can go back to the worker page and find my supervisors in my worker list. I can either find each one and use the permission column to adjust their permission individually, or I can select them all with the bubble next to their names and assign the permission all at once using the bar at the top of the page. And there you have it. You can see how permission profiles allow you to empower your workers with the additional abilities allowed in their Site Docs app. If you have any questions about permissions or anything else in your Site Docs application, please reach out to our amazing support team at support at sitedocs.com.